Weekend crash we told you about at the top of the newscast is our 67th deadly wreck this year. Compared to last year at this time, it's nearly doubled. We were at 35 deadly crashes. And all these wrecks can take a mental toll on first responders. KTV's Adam Hammonds asked first responders what it's like and found out the effects of one particularly horrific crash in Caldwell County. I have a collision major in the area of Highway 183 and Highway 21. On August 13th, an SUV carrying nine people rolled down an embankment in Caldwell County. Family members thrown from the car. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven patients. I got three, pe three people with no pulse. The driver behind the crash happened to be a paramedic. Uh, I've got about four children. We're going to need uh, a helicopter. Five people, including one child, died from the crash. Weeks later, that paramedic says it's a scene he's still trying to get over, a feeling many first responders face. There are people who have a hard time shaking off a particular event. EMS first responders Rick Rutledge and Mike Benavides have spent decades as paramedics, and they've noticed a spike in crashes this year. We're just getting overwhelmed with them, just so many, so close together. Neither say they've ever had any lasting effects, but say there are calls that are harder than others. Any scene that you walk up on and children are involved, it's a heartbreaker. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it was a heartbreaker for me. Uh, it, hit, it hit, it devastated me basically because I have children of my own. So can it turn into PTSD? Benavides says yes, but it's a different kind, and they're still understanding it. I believe that it is now more on the forefront dealing with first responders and PTSD. And there are programs to help, including a newly created peer support team made up of a select group of Austin Travis County medics. And there's also a band like this that each person EMS gets with a number to call. So it's important that as an organization that we watch out for each other. So how do they do it day after day? Benavita says the community depends on them. And while the number of fatal crashes keeps growing, so too do the people they've saved. There are a lot of people that we really help. You can make a positive difference and so that's what keeps you coming back. In Austin, Adam Hammonds, KITV News.